Good day, everyone. I'm here. I'm here. I was just off with the fairies for a moment. <laughs> It's good fun. We like to have a few drinks and have a bit of fun, don't we? I like the four hour stream, yes, yes. Oh, I don't know. Four hours it might be a little bit much. Even three, even three hours is a little bit much, I think. I, I end up um a little bit under the weather if I'd go yeah. for that long. I see, I see. He gave me the option to pick someone else to um oh there's a frog. Um to ooh, a squirrel. While we're doing shout outs, I'd like to shout out Aquamate. He's got stickers available now. <laughs> this is one of my um preferred foods for my fish. Because no one wants fat cichlids, do they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Do you culture your own fish? I don't know what that means. Culture. Yeah, yeah. I um I buy my my fish tickets to the opera every year. Is that what <laughs> my culture? I did the um the crimson spotted rainbows because I could catch them locally. Um, I kept them for a little while, and then I found out they are pricks. They're not very nice fish. They're very <laughs> aggro. Don't recommend them for a community tank at all. I've I've got him on my notes as well to do a shout out for Rob Bull, but um, me too. You know. Rob, you have talk of the town, mate. Wow. I linked it before. He's got 25 subscribers, so we can easily help out and get some more. So everyone, we can easily get him to 31. Uh, people might come into problems when they are trying to chase particular yeah. water parameters, because then that's where your lack of consistency comes in. Is that you're changing shit around so often that you, you by by trying to get some level of consistency, you're thereby creating inconsistency. Do you know what I mean? James Hukulak. I doubt, I severely doubt I said that correctly, but I had a crack at it at least. I had a crack at Hukulak. G'day, Dave from Aquarium Thoughts. How are you, mate? Thanks for popping in to say hello. Bloody work gets in the way of life, doesn't it? It's uh, Wednesday, just past noon in Australia. And as we all know, just past noon in Australia is beverage o'clock. It is here anyway, because we get thirsty down here. See what I can get going. But then I have that issue that not being the honey blue eyes potentially uh, just the Pacific blue eyes may not may not uh, establish that level of envy as the uh, honey blue eyes. So I may have to try and organise getting some honey blue eyes because they, they are much further north uh, in the country. I think you begin to find them about probably 900 to 1,000 kilometres north of me, part of me. But, you know, who's to say an expedition's not on the cards to go and find some? Um, that would potentially only be one of the reasons, Pam, because I do enjoy them as well. I think they're a very pretty little fish and I love the way the males display and try and outdo each other. Um, but, yeah, just to spite you would only be one of potentially two or three reasons. Probably the main reason, though. Isn't that always a good feeling, isn't it, Ginger? Finishing work and heading home. And when you can put the icing on the cake, the icing on the cake of listening to the dulcet tones of Blackie on your journey home, wow, what a drive you're up for. What a time. What a time you're about to have. Probably not, though. It's probably, you know, more entertaining looking out the window, really. 
Hi, Caleb. How are you, buddy? I should say, how are you, buddy? See what I did there? It's quite odd. I still find it hard to get used to people saying they've got to sleep when it's the middle of the day. But, you know, I understand that we're on a globe that spins around and the time is different everywhere. Blah. Pardon me. Would um anyone be interested in seeing some of Scungy's drawings from drawing today? I mean, it doesn't really matter if you're not, because I'm going to show some. I don't even know if this one will fit on camera. Anyone? I'll get any yeses, any noes. No, don't show me. Don't show me that stuff. It's scary. I'll have nightmares. Check this guy out. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Tilt it that way. That way, Blackie. Hang on. And that way. I believe this one is Aquafunk, Joe Munoz and Fishy Biz all in one picture. But yes, I love, I'm a big fan. Scungy does this squiggly line style in quite a few of her drawings. I'm a massive fan of this style. Um, yeah, the eyes are very intense on this one, Deborah. It's a super cool picture, that one. I like it a lot. Joe Munoz says, Sarah makes Picasso look like a slow ride to grandmother's house. We may have to put that quote on on the wall at her exhibition coming up in October. <coughs> oh, beg my pardon. So yeah, this one's made on a little, uh, what do we call it? A three or four inch embroidery ring with a bit of fluffy gear around the outside and then different kinds of fabric to uh, make up the uh, Labias, I guess, the labia majora and oh, minora. Yeah. It has an amethyst clitoris. Ah, there we go. It, if you can, I don't know if we can see that well. That's all right. You but can it, never find the clitoris. It has, <laughs> it has an amethyst clitoris. And like Gunji said, it's often very difficult to find the clitoris. But it, if we do, if we do look, it's in here somewhere. You can see it shining out through the hood. Goodness me. I've almost blushed then. Almost. I'll tell you someone really quick. That's all you get. Oh, it doesn't matter. Rough goes okay. <laughs> Pardon me. Nothing wrong with drinking the whiskey straight, bro. Uh, darling, I know you're sleeping. But there's something that I just have to say. I wonder if you hear me while you're dreaming. Make a lifetime out of every day Your eyes keep things well hidden Just a hint of what you're holding inside And the first day that I met you I consider the first day of my life Thanks to you, now I know All my dreams can come true And I don't know if I deserve someone so true But I love that you think that I do I've got 
That's a different song. She used to love me. Now she's gonna kill me. She used to love me. Oh, yeah. Now she's gonna kill me. She had to put me. Feet under, I'll be buried in my backyard. Make a video of that. Might get me in trouble though. Might get your hits. <laughs> the wind turned the camera. It sure did. That was very gusty here today rob but she's gonna kill me <laughs> probably that one i fear for my life yeah right you do. at least six foot deep yeah let's go seven and a half to be safe i don't like digging that much <laughs> robbie ball says thanks for the stream shame there won't be any more <laughs> in it though <laughs> I'm um, lucky I've been working on my cardio lately because I'm going to have to start running now. I'm going to run for my life. Thanks, Candy. Thanks for your help earlier and for being here the whole way through. Give uh, Caleb a arr, arr for me. But anyway, everyone, everyone. Thank you very much for your support and your love and your hijinks putting up with our nonsense and crap. I hope uh, everyone's standard beverage action was up there. Salute, cheers, up yours, all of the good stuff. Um, and, yeah, we will talk to you soon. See you on the YouTubes. Oh, I'll put that down without drinking from it. Empty your glasses. We'll see you next time. Ah, pardon me. Thanks, everyone. Love yous all. Love yous all. We'll see you soon. Whoops.